Well, g'day everyone. Wanted to talk to you about a really disappointing thing that's happened with the Photoshop M1 release. Uh, now everyone's going on saying, you know, it's one and a half times faster and things like that, but there's one massive flaw in the way that the application works, and that is the fact that you just can't load any plugins. Uh, there's no plugins available yet, uh, any that anyone will use anyway, uh, that you can load into the M1 version of Photoshop. Now, I worked this out because yesterday I uh, opened it up up the new version and there was no extensions available at all, uh, no panels. Now the problem seems to be that they've actually taken that out of this version of uh, Photoshop so who knows how long it's going to be until we do have native support. So really the application if you use any sort of plugins at all is completely useless. Uh, but let me show you what the problem is. Um, inside uh, here. Th this is talking about uh, the Photoshop beta version. Now, it hasn't changed since then. So down here, there's known issues. Now, what the known issues are, the problem is it's this. It's this problem here, which is all SEP based panels and it's CC li uh, libraries panel, third party extensions don't work. I think it's a HTML um, coding that they use to get the panels actually in to Photoshop. Well, that's no longer supported for some reason with the Silicon Max. And this will be all of Photoshop's um, panels that are there. And also if you're using other Adobe products as well. So if you're using Premiere and all these other things, you're going to have exactly the same problem. So it's a huge problem. So what they're saying to get around this, uh, I searched on Google. And what they're saying here is that, um, hi all, we're sorry that some extension are missing. Well, it's not some, it's all of them uh, after, uh, for you after updating to Photoshop 22.3. Please note that extensions are not supported for Mac computers using the M1 processor. Please try and find plugins of the same functionality or contact the extension owner to get your extensions ported to UXP. So this is the new uh, programming or interface that they're going to be using and apparently it is much better, but you know, we're probably two years, one to two years away from uh, providers sort of moving over to this uh, and they're saying you need this UXP to run native on the M1 devices. You can still use the older extensions in emulation mode if needed. However, you would need to install the extension while running in Rosetta emulation. So what happens, I'll show you this. So I'm going to open up uh, Photoshop. So let me just go onto the desktop. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Photoshop. So I'll just double click here to open Photoshop up. Now this is opening up the M1 version uh, here and it is incredibly fast uh, how quick it seems to work. But the issue is if you now go up to filters, there's none available. So nothing comes through here. Let me just open an image up. Okay, so if we go up to filters through here, uh, there's nothing available apart from the standard filters that are in Photoshop. Now, the problem is you should have under window, there should be a... Uh sort of drop out list here for extensions. Now that's not available at all. And this is the problem. This is because of that SEP. And if you go to the Photoshop preferences, let me just go down here and we go to plugins. Okay, so the problem is if you go to plugins, you'll notice that we haven't got the ability to turn on, allow extensions to connect to internet and load the extension panel. So that's what's missing in this version. So it's just not available. So the way you can get around this, you have to run Photoshop in emulation. So what I'll do, I'll just start up Photoshop. I'll show you how to do it. So let me just cancel here. Okay, so let me explain how you started in Rosetta mode. All you have to do is you go onto Photoshop, the icon, and then you go get info. Now what that will do is it brings up this uh, sort of dialogue, the information about the program. Now you've got to click on open using Rosetta. Now what will happen once you click that, Photoshop is now going to open up in Rosetta mode. So I'll do that and show you what happens. So now when I click on it, Photoshop will open. Now it's it's not a, nowhere near as fast as opening up uh, as the other version. Uh, the first time you do it, it will be really slow because it's opening up in Rosetta mode. Now let me just double click here to open this file up. You can see here even it's slower now even here. Now you'll notice now if we go up to window at the top here, we've now got find extensions on exchange and also extensions legacy and I can open up all of my extensions uh, and this way I can just sort of open up whatever I want and it will show up. So the extensions are working if you're going through Rosetta. Now if I go to system, pref uh, sorry, to the Photoshop preferences and general, 
uh, plugin, sorry. If I open up here, you'll notice now that allow extensions to connect to the internet and load the extension panels is connected as well. So that's the issue. I just want to sort of clear this up for everyone just to make sure everyone understands what's going on. So what I'm saying to you is if you need plugins, the new update is completely useless. Uh, how long it's going to be until we get updates to this, who knows? Uh, but there doesn't seem to be a workaround at the moment at all. And I can't believe uh, Adobe didn't mention this in their release notes. Uh, they really should have mentioned this because I was shocked when I opened it up and there was nothing there at all. I thought I could just drag the panels over, reinstall the panels or, or the plugins and it would all work, but nothing uh, will work. So you have to use Rosetta mode. So I, I don't know, I think this is a real uh, problem for Adobe that somehow it's got to be fixed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and apart from that, guys, I'll see you in all the next video. Bye for now.